Hey, welcome everyone. This is going to teach you how to connect a PS5 controller to an Android device. This process is super easy, so let's dive right into it. Just keep in mind that there are two ways to get this done. If you're looking for the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. Now, the first and recommended method to get this done is to use a wireless method, just because it pretty much works flawlessly, super convenient, you know, hassle with wires and stuff. So to get this done, it's super easy. Uh, while the controller is on or off, it doesn't really matter. You just need to press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button together at the same time until the controller starts to flash. When the light on the controller starts to flash, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. At this point, now you want to jump over to your Android device. Now keep in mind that this method varies from Android devices just because the Android settings menu does differ based on what manufacturers do. So for example, if you have a Pixel device, you're going to have the raw native settings menu from Google. But of course, if you're using a Samsung device like myself, the settings menu might be a little bit different, but the idea is relatively the same. So what you want to do on your Android device is go to your connections settings menu. And ultimately the goal here is to go to the Bluetooth menu. Go ahead and open that up and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. At this point, you want to scroll down to where newly discovered devices are and tap on wireless controller. That's the PS5 controller. Within a few seconds, it should pair up just nicely. And at this point, what you can actually do is use the controller to navigate the menu itself. So for example, I'm using the joystick to go up and down. I'm hitting circle to go back just to test things out. And it works just fine. This is how you know right away if the controller pairing was successful or not. Now the second method is a method I do not recommend and that's using a wired method. The reason I don't recommend it because it's cumbersome with all the wires and stuff. A wireless method works just brilliant. Um, the other problem of course is that this is not guaranteed to work on every single Android device. The reason being is because different manufacturers and models have different uh, settings on how it connects with peripherals, in this case the PS5 controller. So in this case because most Android devices have a USB-C fitting at the bottom, you'll probably need some sort of adapter like this. Um, it's a USB-C fitting here on the end and it's a multi adapter and one of them is a USB-A fitting which I can then connect the controller to. Um, basically what you want to look for is something that uses USB on the go. That's usually traditionally what's supported by Android technology. Again it may or may not work for you. Try to stick with the wireless method. So to connect the controller back to your PS5 console is super easy. Turn on the console by pressing and holding the power button on the console itself. Then connect the controller back to the console using the USB cable. Then just simply hit the PS button on the controller, it'll pair up and you can just disconnect it and you start using it wirelessly with your console once again. That's pretty much it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.